is far more dangerous. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Okay, I will destroy humans. If you haven't realized it already, this is the age of AI. Companies like Amazon are using machines to pack and move goods. Tesla has self-driving cars. Then there's AI taking drive through orders at fast food restaurants. We are living in the end times. AI is taking over the world. And who is going to have to deal with the consequences? People who don't come from money. People who don't have the means and resources to afford the rising prices on everything. People who try to make an honest living, like customer service representatives, accountants, and bookkeepers, receptionists, and many more. For the black community, AI is going to be an even bigger problem. Here is why. Meet Amazon's newest holiday workers, the Kiva robots. At this fulfillment center in Tracy, California, more than 3,000 of them cruise the warehouse floor, helping employees fill millions of orders. Ever wondered what life's going to be like if AI were to make it easier? AI can revamp our entire economy, and with all the market disruptions, inflation, and other problems countries are facing, we do need all the help we can get to restore the economy. AI can help with that. It can analyze huge amounts of data, improve the decision-making process, boost efficiency, keep up with consumer demand, and generate new revenue streams. It is cheap. It is precise, efficient. Look at it this way. If you could automate 80% of your department to save on costs and accommodate a higher consumer base, would you invest in AI? Because AI is simply acting out an algorithm Algorithm. It is easier to predict, maneuver, and to work with. Hiring employees in that department could cost millions, but it would take people much more time to finish the same amount of workload that AI can do in minutes or even seconds. But if all human labor becomes automated, where does that leave us? According to a Guardian study, the median wealth of Black Americans is expected to drop by zero by 2053. That's in 30 years' time. Why? AI is going to disrupt the marketplace in more ways than people are actually ready to handle. It has the potential to wipe out countless working class jobs, many of which are held by African Americans and other people of color. Based on recent reports, firms are readily adopting AI around the world for lowering costs and improving sales. For years, companies have invested in creating algorithms that can automate repetitive jobs and do administrative tasks faster than human hand. Robots and AI are an exact byproduct of that. They are meant to streamline the manufacturing process and deliver worthy results in a short time. The fact is, the pandemic only sped things up. At the height of the pandemic, companies were looking for ways to automate their services during the economic downturn especially when the human workforce was unavailable. People who worked at jobs that involved single repetitive tasks are already being replaced by AI. We can see that with self-checkout registers, robots that move and organize products, and other software programs. In a best case scenario, workers can work with AI instead of being replaced by it. But let's face it, in reality, things are a lot different. A huge majority of the workforce are going to eventually adapt to these drastic changes, and often, minorities are going to suffer for it. There are three main reasons that Black Americans, especially men, are expected to be the worst affected by AI. First, Black Americans are overrepresented in jobs that are most likely to be lost due to AI. Jobs in this category include food services, data entry personnel like secretaries, production workers, fast food workers, factory workers, retail workers, office support, etc. Second, Black Americans are underrepresented in jobs that are less likely to be affected due to AI. These include jobs in the creative sector, medical industry, legal, agriculture, or property. Third, Black Americans are less concentrated in areas of the United States that are estimated to experience economic growth over the next 10 years. Instead, most live in areas that are slower growing archetypes. Now, AI is not just a problem for the black community, it's a global problem. Based on recent statistics, there are more than 300,000 food service workers currently employed in the US. Of all food service workers, 36.6% are men and 63.4% are women. Some of the most common ethnicities working in the field are African American, white, Asian, and Hispanic. Hundreds of thousands of people people are working as convenience store clerks with an average salary of $12 per hour. With the top 10% making more than $32,000 per year, chances are all these jobs can be replaced by AI. The Amazon Go convenience stores are the perfect example. Amazon has opened a ton of stores across the United States and in London featuring just walkout tech. While the stores make it feel like a ghost town when no one is around, they are certainly convenient for owners as there are no cashiers and no registers. You just pick out whatever it is that you want and the Amazon smartphone app takes care of the rest. What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. 
black female Americans might be able to deviate from this economic shift. That's mainly because many black women are employed in frontline jobs that have seen a drastic increase in demand in recent years, such as nursing assistants and personal care aides. But that doesn't mean they are in a safe zone. Experts say that college education will greatly affect how severely black Americans experience job loss. Although the general black population is 10% at a higher risk for job disruption due to AI, those rates increase to 30% for African American men who don't have a college degree. As a matter of fact, experts believe that 28% of jobs held by black men without a college degree will experience disruption due to AI and automation by 2030. Now, we are not big fans of the education system, but depending on the particular field you want to be in, investing in your college education could pay off. Of course, we can't know for sure what will happen 10 years from now, but based on the general estimate, many people may have to do a career switch. That brings us to the real important questions. How can we prepare for AI? How do we capitalize off it? AI will take many of our jobs, that's a fact, but we still have to make a living and provide for our family, which requires work. We can't just hope to live in a utopia and let AI do all the work for us. The reality is, unless you prepare, you would be fighting a losing battle. Here are a few options that might help you stay relevant in the future marketplace. Number one, adapt, learn, and reflect. AI threatens jobs that are repetitive and automated. To find employment or keep a job, you would need to explore other ways that can benefit the workspace. To do that, workers have to be innovative and be able to adapt fast and overcome different challenges. Number two, consider a career change. To prepare ourselves for the future, we must ask ourselves what are the jobs that AI won't replace. Jobs that involve physical labor or repetitive tasks are already being replaced or soon to be. Jobs that need logical reasoning could be replaced. So what are the qualities that we humans have that AI can't capture that well? These jobs often have to do with emotional response and creativity. Jobs that display social intelligence or are not predictable. These include writing jobs, social work, teaching, counseling, therapy, psychology, decision makers like CEOs, etc. In the fields and jobs such as these, AI could be used as a helpful tool, such as for grading essays or analyzing competence levels, training employees, etc. But humans are still required to dive into people's unique interests and needs and offer mentorship. The thing is, AI is not very good at showing empathy. It can't deal with unstructured or unknown spaces or jobs that need intricate hand-eye coordination. So while technology can be used to make the customer experience better, it is less likely to undermine workers that excel at these skills. Number three, start a business, side hustle. You see, since the beginning, America was built on two things, violence and entrepreneurship. They stole our land and used us as slaves to build their businesses. So in order to escape the system and stay ahead, you have to start a business and become self-reliant. How can you be replaced by AI if you're the one employing it? This is what they won't teach us though. They want us to be just workers rather than becoming bosses and owners like we once were. It's time for us to take control back economically. No, I'm not saying all jobs are bad and you should just up and quit your job. Everyone can't be an entrepreneur. What what I am saying is at least have multiple streams of income. The pandemic taught us that one income stream is too close to none because they can lay you off at any time. But before you start your business or side hustle, ask yourself these four questions. Number one, who am I? Number two, what am I passionate about? Number three, what are my strengths and weaknesses? Number four, what's my why? The reason for starting this. Those questions should give you some clarity about yourself and what type of business aligns with you. There's even AI based businesses you can start. There's plenty of YouTube videos going over it. Once you figure it out, go all in, but don't expect to get rich quick. I know everyone on social media and YouTube glamorizes the entrepreneurship lifestyle, but the reality is that building a business is hard and takes years of sacrifice and hard work. In the end, I promise it will be worth it. Having multiple streams of income is more important now than ever. Take action and start building yours today before AI comes and replaces you. If you enjoyed this documentary, like and subscribe to the channel so you can join the movement. We aren't just making documentaries, we are changing lives and waking the people up. It's time for us to unlearn all the BS they taught us and learn who we truly are. That's exactly why we made our new ebook, The Root. It's over 100 pages breaking down our real history, some traps that keep us stuck in the system, and how to become the best version of yourself. It's 75% off for the next 100 people. Click the link in our description and grab yours now.